Hi everyone, welcome back. I deleted all the code on my event sheets and started again. Why? Because when you take a few days off from developing your game and then return struggling to comprehend what you've written, it means you're either getting early onset dementia or your code is a mess of spaghetti nonsense. I'm going with the latter, but let's not rule out the former just yet. I decided to focus on nailing the character select screen first. This would be the player's first experience of my game and I wanted it to be a good one. I added a wavy beam of light with a particle flutter effect when the player chooses the character to play with. I made the beam with a tiled background that I made white at slightly less than 100% opacity. I jazzed it up with some go faster stripes and set its X position to equal that of the base sprite's X position and pin itself there until further notice. I set the particle flutter again to pin itself to the beam, gave the beam the tween behaviour to animate it appearing when the player presses a button, and overall I must say I'm pretty happy with the outcome. I'm using global variables to track which player has been selected and gave the background boxes in the menu a local variable called ID. I told the system that if the player selected variable matched that of the ID of the background box, unpin it and put the player back if deselected. Now the player will have the ability to control and get a feel for each character before deciding which one to take into the game itself. And before we continue with the video, just a massive thank you and a shout out to my wonderful Patreon and YouTube channel members, Fuzel CC, Olivia Bernier, Jared Dumont, Retro Galaxy, Matt, Lighting Cat, Jonathan Turner, Seth Goebel, Fan Fan, Martin K, Yanni Boy, Amari Lewis, Ahmad Fermansaya, Julian Cruz, Rob, Mood for Cell, Char Cool, Paul Alex Anderson, and Nmark Games. Thanks for supporting my game dev journey and for more information about what's on offer in the Patreon, there's a link in the description. I am weighing up whether or not to let the player have all 10 characters when they start the game, or to just maybe limit it to 3 and make the rest unlockable as you play. Tell me what you think in the comments. I want each of the 10 playable characters to have their own feel, so I set 3 jump strength variables, 3 speed variables and 3 damage variables. I then told the system to set the base sprites jump and speed based on which character had been selected. I'll probably add a fourth for damage, as certain characters like the Barbarian will have higher defense than say characters like Archer and Monk and therefore take less damage when they get hit. If you've enjoyed the video or are interested to see how this game unfolds, then why not hit the subscribe button? If you use Construct 3, make sure to check out more tutorial playlists. And finally, if you haven't done so yet, why not join GDKO or Dev League? Links to everything are in the description. Now check out one of these great videos.